Hi guys, it's Emily here, so welcome to another speed build. Today I am building another starter house. So the last time I shared a starter house, I mentioned how I built another one right after it in this neighborhood in Willow Creek, and this is that house, so hopefully you guys will like the way it turns out. I know it's been a long time since I've talked about that, so I've actually had this build done for a quite some time now um, and it's been up on the gallery so you may have downloaded it already if you have let me know that would be pretty cool and it is in a similar style to the other one not just because I built it right after the other starter house but I was also looking off into the distance for inspiration because I really wanted these houses in this neighborhood to blend into the world of Willow Creek and this neighborhood I didn't want them to kind of just stand out as some random neighborhood that doesn't really make any sense. I really wanted them to look like they belong and I also wanted them to be affordable. So these two houses, you just probably saw the other one there right to the left or to the right side of the lot. Um, these ones are under 20,000. So they're like 17 or 18,000 simoleons. So perfect for one sim just starting out. And then across the street, um, you can't see it here, but I have built it already. It is 35,000 simoleons and it's a two bedroom house. So if your sim has gotten married or started having a family or has a roommate or something like that and you know there's more income then you can afford that house and then to the left of this lot I have built another house and that one is 45,000 simoleons and um, that one has three bedrooms so that's more of like an established family but still affordable and then on the last lot the one that's to the right diagonally if you're looking at the street from the slot that's probably really confusing I apologize um, that one I will do 55,000 simoleons and that one will probably be either like a three or four bedroom house and affordable so that's what I've been going for with these houses um, I think it's kind of fun to do kind of a budget neighborhood and something that maybe would be a little bit more achievable to get in your game at least quickly I think expensive houses are achievable it just takes a long time for your sins to get up in their careers but these are houses that you could have right away so that's pretty cool and then this house is different than the last starter house because this one is much more rustic I was going for a lot more darker colors and I used a I mean the last house I did use like the rundown city living um, countertops in the kitchen but this one I used a lot more rundown furniture throughout the house and I think I used some of the wall decals from the vampire stuff that makes the walls look like they're a little bit more distressed as well so it's kind of a fixer-upper maybe it'd be fun for your sim to move in here and you know work up on their career and be able to renovate it with some nicer appliances and countertops and furniture and those kinds of things because I think I even used the flea market sofa which is a recolor of that hipster base game couch that I like so much the I mean, it's nice to have some recolors of it, but they're really not the prettiest. I mean, I use them sometimes. The one that I used in here, I think it's like the really gross one. <laughs> That's like that murky green brown color. It looks, it looks pretty gross, but um, I thought it was perfect for this house. And at this point, I have the whitewashed boards on the porch, which I do change to a darker color just because I felt like it was too contrasting and didn't really go with that... Um, rustic look I was going for it looked too clean I wanted it to look a little bit more dirty so that's what I did and then I have a clothesline out here and as far as the furniture on the exterior there's not a whole lot I have the clothesline I get a wash bucket and I think a little dining area and a couple pot plants potted plants for your sims to grow a few things so yeah I mean there's not a whole lot but exteriors Exterior furniture is really expensive in The Sims for some reason. Um, if you wanted to save some money, you could of course delete the fence because that's kind of expensive. But I liked the way it looked and I felt like it just gave your Sims a little bit of privacy and kind of defines the backyard a little bit. I don't know. I just kind of like it. And um, I've actually already done this voiceover before, but like three weeks ago, I think, I had this video ready to share and then... Um, for whatever reason, I just got busy with my mansion build and never shared it. So this was actually done and ready to share with you guys before that build was completed. And I went back and listened to the voiceover and everything was so irrelevant and didn't really make sense. So I didn't think I should share it with you guys. So I decided to redo th this voiceover. So I'm trying to remember everything that I did in this build. So bear with me if I make a mistake or anything because it has been some time. But I mean, I know it's a rustic interior and I know it's one bedroom and... I mean, I didn't use a whole lot of items, so it's not too confusing, I think, to remember everything, because it's a pretty small house. But, um, yeah, I don't usually do that. I don't usually complete a build and do the voiceover and everything and get ready to share it and then not share it and then have to redo it later. Usually that doesn't happen. Usually as soon as I'm done doing the voiceover, I share it either the next day or at most two days or something like that. It's not usually 
a month later or three weeks later, whatever it's been. And yeah, so that's why I had to redo the voiceover. But I don't mind, of course. Um, the more voiceovers I do is probably the better because voiceovers are hard to do. It's definitely, it's definitely an acquired skill that takes lots of practice. So the more of them, the merrier. Oh, speaking of that, I mentioned in my last speed build, which was an apartment renovation, um, how I'm going to be taking a trip. So this might surprise some of you guys, um, but I'm actually going to be missing the release of seasons. I will be on vacation. I will be on a road trip with my husband. Um, very excited about that. It's a trip we've been wanting to do for a long time and the opportunity is just arising now. So it's unfortunate that I will miss the release of seasons. Of course, I will be sharing as many things as I possibly can as soon as I come back. And I'm trying to get some videos ready for while I am gone. Um, cause I will be gone for about two weeks. So if comments or like me replying to your guys' comments are slow, if videos are slow, that's why don't worry. I'm not disappearing. I'm just taking a vacation that I'm very, I'm very excited about it. I'm of course sad that I'm going to miss the release of seasons because I'm of course very excited for that. But give me your guys' ideas while I'm gone. If you see things that maybe, um, inspire you or something that you think you would like me to build, that would be really cool of you guys to share those ideas with me. I've been trying to collect my own ideas. The live stream is on Friday. I was going to say tomorrow, but tomorrow's Thursday. <laughs> this is Wednesday when I'm recording. So the live stream for um, the season's expansion is going to be on Friday. So I'll definitely be watching that. But then I will be leaving. I think we're leaving Monday. If not, we're leaving Tuesday. So um, yeah, I will, I will be away <laughs> when it's released, which is, you know, a bit of a bummer, but I'm still really excited, like I said. So um, definitely give me your guys' suggestions. And I want to mention what I just did there. I used that archway in that little room and then put the bookcase in there. And then I couldn't get my sim on the lot to actually go in and use that bookcase. Um, I kind of wish I would have messed with that a bit more because I think it looks really cool. I saw Freezer Bunny do it in one of his builds, and I thought it was such a great idea, and it looked like this really cool built-in unit. I think... For looks purposes, I wouldn't mind too much if it didn't work because you can always throw another bookcase in the house and their symbols will just automatically use that one. Um, but I kind of wish I would have messed with it in this house and got it to work. And I didn't want to do it just for looks in this house since we're on such a strict budget. I want everything to be functional. I do get a bookcase here in the end, but not that one. Um, but as you can see, the interior is coming together. I I think it looks really nice on the interior. I think the interior of this house is a lot better than the exterior. The exterior is kind of blah. I don't know. I think I don't mind the dark interiors, but dark exteriors I'm not too much of a fan of, I think. I don't know. Sometimes I do them and I like them. But for this house, I think it would look a lot better in the lighter, like whites and blues like I did the other house. So maybe that's just me. I'm not really sure. But I really like that kitchen. Um, I think it came together so nicely. It, it ends up being a pretty cluttered house and lots of activities. I believe I get the guitar in here. The last starter house, I got an art easel. And then there's also a computer in the end and then a bookcase and of course the TV and the kitchen. So lots of places for your Sims to get their skills up, which is really nice. The other houses that I've been building, I noticed I haven't been able to get as many skill building items in even though there's a larger budget because of the other bedrooms and adding other bathrooms because I believe not the one across the street that's 35,000 smallings it only has one bathroom but it has a laundry room and then the extra bedroom so that takes up a lot of the budget so there's no computer in that house there's a desk it's ready for a computer but um and then the other house there's no computer in that one or a desk, I think, but there's two bathrooms and three bedrooms. So that took up a lot of the budget. So it's kind of interesting kind of playing with the different budgets of the Sims and trying to create affordable houses. Cause usually I just go in and just start building till my heart's content and don't pay attention to how much it costs and nothing like that. So it's it's been a fun challenge and a fun little project to build this affordable little community. And if you guys would like to see a tour of it when I'm done, definitely let me know. I have one more house to build like I was saying and um, yeah, then it'll be completed. It'll just be a little affordable neighborhood and you can download all of them into your game from the gallery. Um, the links to all of my builds are in the description by the way. Um, but yeah, so kind of a fun project. But here I am changing the flooring which I think was such a good decision it was too contrasting I think if I was to go with a lighter exterior those white floorboards would look really nice but it just really wasn't working for me um, and I think at this point I'm going through and picking out some debug objects I get some 
Oh, we got that fish on the wall, which I thought was pretty cool. And then I get some postcards, not too many because they're 10 simoleons a piece and I think I still had to save some room for um, other items and oh yeah because I haven't done the landscaping yet I do the same landscaping that I did in the last starter house and that I do in the other houses that I've been doing because um, these plants size up really nicely these flowers and um, they're really cheap and that tree is really cheap there's a couple other trees that are cheaper but this one I think looks the nicest out of the affordable trees and here I am picking out some furniture for the exterior and there's not a whole lot but if you wanted to save some money um, you can of course delete the fence, but I get the wash bucket out there and your sins can do laundry on the clothesline. Of course, if you don't want to have them do laundry, delete the laundry hamper and the clothesline and maybe you'll have some extra cash for other activities, maybe a barbecue because barbecues are so expensive. I mentioned in the last starter house how I wasn't sh I wasn't sure how much the barrel barbecue costs, but it's like 600 simoleons. Why? It's a barrel with a wire rack on the top. That doesn't make any sense. Like for the other barbecuers, I get it. Maybe a barbecue could be expensive, but that one is just a barrel. I feel like we should have, that one should be like 100 simoleons, 200 simoleons, but it's not. So there's no barbecue, which I think is kind of annoying, <laughs> but um, it's just a little bit of a petty thing, I think. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for my trip. I'm disappointed that I'll be gone for that certain amount of time, but very excited to come back and enjoy seasons. Very excited to watch the live stream and very excited to hear your guys' ideas and things that you guys would like to see. I think I'm gonna hold off on bigger builds until that comes out. I'm gonna work on sharing my apartments with you guys and the other builds in this neighborhood that I have ready to share with you guys. And then, um, yeah, then when I come back, I will be building the seasons, which is amazing. Um, oh, I li really liked adding those jars in the kitchen. I thought those were pretty cool and I believe they were free. So I took advantage of going through and adding debug objects. I also get a magazine in the bedroom and I forget, I forget what else, maybe some like sugar skulls or something. I was going through and trying to find some of the cheap, cheap items. And just in case you don't know, to go into this menu, you type in control shift C and that pulls up the cheap bar. And then you can type, um, type in the cheap bar, BB dot show hidden objects. And then in the search bar, type debug and it'll come up with everything that is kind of unlockable through gameplay. And yeah, gives you a lot more options and things to work with, but I believe we are about done with this build. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching and um, yeah, hopefully you guys like the way this one turns out. Definitely enjoy the screenshots and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!